Hey, what's up everybody? Victor Pena here with Omniprint International. And I'm super excited today because I wanna give you guys a quick product tour of the newest Omni DTF. I'm finally here. I, I said I was gonna come a million times. We finally made it happen. Who are you? I, I'm Ruben. I'm, I'm known as the T-shirt buddy. If you're not <laughs> following me, I suggest you do. You're gonna get comedy, you're gonna get DTF and a bunch of other things. DTF, and no, it's not what you think it means. So my first question, which is always safety, right? So before we started anything, my first question was uh, wheelchair system, right? Being a, the, the ventilation system. So for a, a guy like myself, I was in a home, sold my home, I'm in an apartment now. So the folks that have asked me questions are also in small apartments or things like that, is how safe is this machine to actually run in an apartment, right? Uh, especially though, like we discussed, not having to run your ventilation system over the top or yeah. on the back, you've created something to kind of replace that, right? How safe is it and how does this thing function? For, for us, that stuff's number one, right? Because not only for people that are using it, but also like what's left on the garment, right? So remember that. So there's a couple of things for that. Number one is the, the chemicals that are used are super important because any bad chemical, it doesn't matter if it's heated or vented or not, it's bad, right? So we've been developing inks for a long time here and our main job always is to have the safest product, right? So it all comes with where you select your raw materials for, how you formulate, uh, and also making sure you got all the safety certifications, right? So that's like a foundational thing. So we actually developed the inks and uh, all the chemistry that runs these printers, right? So what is the difference? Number one is all of our stuff is like certified and child safe, but what we're providing here is like the smoothest and the best hand feel in DTF. Cause some of the stuff out there yeah. that's important is pretty nasty, it is, you know? Yeah. Feels like paper. It does. So what you wanna do is we wanna be able to provide quality and value to the customers. Mm -hmm. And the first thing to do is they feel it, it right? Is. So feel, if it feels cheap, it's a cheap product. Exactly. <laughs> and you know, we we'll, we'll, we have stuff, samples and stuff, if people want to see how our stuff feels mm -hmm. versus others, yeah. that's super important. And also like look for certifications in your products for child safety, for testing and all that. I show you the ink manufacturing in the back and all that. Yeah. We do that for a reason. So we can control the quality and the safety of the, of the inks. Yeah. Normally what you guys will see online, I want you to be super educated. Uh, people out there, that are importing units, they're selling the printer, right? And then it's up to you to figure out how you do the rest, all right? And from, you know, already uh, over a year with R&D on creating this product, um, we know how important it is to match up your curing to your machine and actually have it attached to the system because if everything doesn't line up, you're gonna have problems, right? So that's why we decided if we're going to get into this game, we're always going to provide the best product, all right, the full solution where you guys can get everything that you need to be successful and you don't have to be searching and having trouble on how you actually get it done to the end, all right? So that's why I want to go through that. How long did it take you in research to even find that film or that ink or whatever, whatever it was? I still don't know because yeah. I haven't actually had my It's a combo. On. It's a combo. It's an ink and a film. We've been at it since 2020. It's a mission. Uh, to formulate, reformulate, uh, go after like the best feel, right? And the best like print quality also in the machine. So uh, new Omni DTF. I'll talk a little bit about uh, some of the, the, like, the biggest features, the biggest reasons why this is like super powerful for somebody to get into. And I'll start with like the print area, right? So most of the stuff out there that is this format. So this is, this is designed for you to have it in a uh, like professional space or in an apartment. Everything from the stands, from the, the printer size itself. This is the printer, so you would bring this in and it fits through a regular door. Same thing for the oven, fits through a regular door and you put it all together so it's a full solution, right? So, and the print area is 14 and a half inches uh, with a custom roll uh, that we had made uh, for, for this printer, right? So why did we do that? 11 and a half is just, doesn't quite get you there. Even in a free jet, it's bigger, you know, it's almost 13. So another cool aspect that we were talking about is the fact that you could 
ship designs to other customers. Yeah. And that's 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 awesome because now you're not just doing it for your own brand or one-off designs, you're doing it for, for print shops and other people that want to do stuff too, right? Yeah, 100%. So some, some creators out there, they might just have a heat press or they're starting off and mm -hmm. they don't have the equipment yet and they're looking for somebody to actually ship them transfers mm -hmm. uh, and these are full color mm -hmm. and they could do low quantities or high quantities, doesn't matter, right? Yeah. The machine doesn't care, it just keeps going. Just keeps burning. So it's another line of business mm -hmm. where you don't have to physically transfer to the garment yourself. Yeah, and that's key guys. So direct to film truly allows you to scale your business. This is the first time you've seen the machine. And I've seen a couple other ones. Some of them range 30 to 40,000. They don't look as nice or operate as good as this one does. But OmniPrint always puts something special together for you guys. All right, next, uh, we're gonna talk about uh, resolutions, right? So this is a 3600 DPI uh, print that's doing right now. Uh, it goes a little bit higher if you need it or lower. And that's what's gonna give you your high resolution for a high speed, right? And there's different resolutions depending on your production flow and your images. We're all about quality. We would rather print at the highest resolution uh, because this is still a fast print. You're looking at any large print, 14 and a half wide, you're gonna look at somewhere around minute, minute and a half, um, definitely under two minutes for the biggest of prints, right? And always depends on your image size, but this is, with white and color, so this is already a high production per hour machine, all right? One thing to note, any printer that's doing DTF or uh, banner printing or any, anything like that where you have a roll associated uh, and you're printing on film, you wanna have a vectorized image. What does that mean? You have an image that's clean, crisp around the edges, all right? You want an image that doesn't have any blurs, any gradients and stuff like that. Uh, that's still something that has to be vectorized. If your print jobs require um, those gradients, they require those kind of um, outer glows and stuff like that, or it requires more of the shirt to be coming through, uh, you want to look at our line of direct-to-garment printers because that's the only way you get those kind of images on a shirt. And also you can do DTF on that. So it depends on what your different needs are on what equipment you're gonna get, all right? So that's why I wanna highlight what kind of images that you need to be able to professionally print at a high quality designs that are gonna make your customers order over and over again, all right? Now, how often do you have to make it? That's always So every time. every single day before you leave, you're gonna clean your uh, cleaning station, right? You have five minutes of preventative maintenance and then you're good, right? So that's the difference of using professional parts inks and all that stuff so that, that's why you would do that so those features are important then i'll go into like uh, the software software because you're not using the everyone's using acro yeah acro rip, right it's no acro rip this is your own yeah software. so this is direct rip uh direct rip, right? we, that's it's a you know similar print engine that we use for the i2 and the free jet dude that's how we get the best print having the best color engine to run it right and uh, how do you reduce the cost uh, you have the, the software that is designed to reduce costs, not to put so much ink down that it feels nasty. And then you have like three or four times the cost of, of uh, what we would print for, right? So, all right, and what I wanna highlight too is that uh, we've been printing in line and nonstop while we've been doing this, right? And why do I wanna highlight that? So when you get an equipment that's uh, in line like this for roll to roll, the types of jobs that work best is if you keep the printer going nonstop. All right, and that means that you want to be able to do jobs that are multiple up, multiple quantities, because this is designed to load the roll in the back. And once you load it and you feed it in, you can print nonstop, right? All you're going to be doing is making sure that you have enough ink, you have enough powder, all right? And the quality that's coming out is what your customers need from you. If you have lower quantities, all right, you're better off maybe doing one of our other machines that can print by sheet because that'll help you not have to load the whole roll through uh, and save you some time doing that if your jobs are on the lower quantity side, all right? So I wanna highlight that because we have a lot of customers already using the equipment nonstop and it's something that's super important for you guys to plan out 
when you have your job flow. And because our job is to help you grow and give you the information that you need to keep pushing and to do as much orders as possible with the right equipment, all right? All right, so now we're gonna do a couple presses and see what it actually feels like once it's on this garment, temperature-wise. So we're still 320, 25 seconds, right? But this is a hot pill, so we don't have to, you know, no, no second pills. Or... Yeah, but you're, you're like, flex, flex. There you go, there you go. There you go. So I'm so used to being at home and I'm an upside down <laughs> guy, so I thread my shirts that way. All right. Putting him through the test. So now that we got this printed, I want to see how it actually feels on the shirt. Yeah, let's do it. We'll Make transfer it one and then we'll show you how it feels. So. so now that the DTF is there, we cut it out. And as you guys can see, it's ready to be applied to the t-shirt with this heat press. Now that's, that's the cool part about DTF is that you only really need either the film. So if somebody sends you the film, or in this case, you're buying the machine and you're producing the film here. And once that's in, you just line it up like you normally would any other design. And then these ones are a cold peel. So we're gonna press. <laughs> right. Oh, you weren't kidding. Oh, oh. Look at him. Now, oh. do you suggest a double, I can feel it. Do you suggest a double press or that's it? Yeah, yeah, do like a little five second hit if you want. Yeah. Picky, I'm picky when I press. All right, 20 second press. So once this is pressed, if you're in production, you would move it like this. You'd move the t-shirt, let it cool down for at least 30 seconds. Um, this allows it to finish adhering. So if you're in the production run, you would essentially start stacking your blanks here, all, all your finished designs with the, with the design from DTF here. So we're gonna give it about 30 seconds to a minute, just to make sure, because it was a little hot. Still a little hot, but. So let's, uh, let's see, 30 seconds later. This is the first time I use this. So let's, let's see how, oh, oh, that's clean. It's coming right off, and this is pretty cool. First time doing it, man. And then the overall quality. It doesn't feel that plasticky feel that you're talking about. It actually feels pretty good. That's cool. <laughs> We're gonna finish it up with this. Let's do the final press. Oh, yes. Yeah, so yeah, he wasn't lying. This, this, this really is smooth. It really is, is soft. It looks great, vibrant. And I don't have any of those crazy, like, outline, the white powder that sits on the outline. So, it's the truth. Uh, grab my credit card. Mm. <laughs> Not, they look great. They look great, so, yeah, seriously. Yeah, you, you, you've done a good job, for sure, in finding whatever it is that, that works. Yeah, and so, like, it, it doesn't feel like it, it's paper at all. It's nice and soft. No, my hand's not burning on the hot light. Here's that second one, right? So, like I was saying, it, re it really is nice and detailed, and the colors are vivid, you know, they're, they're vibrant. So, you guys win. I, I, I'm the print gets my money. And they better get yours after this. Yep. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, it actually feels like a nice spring print. Uh. Check out the detail in that. Feels like a nice like screen print. Cool. I'm telling you, we tried some other ones, and that even after we repressed, it was crap. Yeah, it was crap. This is this is really nice. There you have it, guys. You can see direct to film. It really allows you to scale. And I think on this cold peel, one of the one of the key things we were just talking about is if you're sending these transfers to a customer. The issue with hot peel is that the customer needs to know how to peel hot. And that means that they may be returning a lot of your, your thing saying it didn't work. Yep. <laughs> but by, 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 that, by, by this being a cold peel, it allows you to ship these transfers out and then the customer just lets it cool off 
And just like I peeled it off just now, it went off super simple. Like if you're peeling hot, you really gotta know what you're doing. Exactly. But here with a cold peel, I didn't need to really know what I was doing. <laughs> I am so glad I saw them in person. This is the truth. It really is soft. It really does peel like butter. Uh, as I was saying when we pressed it, I, don't, I mean, it's so vivid and detailed. You don't have that extra powder around anything. Um, when I said professional, I, I, I truly meant it when I came to see this machine. This, this, is, this is professional. Um, if you want to go the right way, I, I would be considering one of these machines for sure. There you go. I, I love that. You know, anytime that somebody comes that knows what they're talking about and has, ha, like, has done this to eat and live, it's a real compliment, you know, and, and you see like what you can make from here, from curing to peeling it. So that's, that's the key. Uh, we want to empower you guys to grow and thrive. And so thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. All right, and so we're always doing content, guys, for free that helps you, that helps you grow, helps inspire you. So make sure about half of you guys are not subscribed, but you're still watching. They're still watching, dude. They're still watching. So, came out amazing. So if you guys are interested in learning any more, make sure you guys submit your contact information here. The team at Omniprint will take care of them. Can yeah. you tell them about what they can expect afterwards? Yeah, so you wanna, you wanna talk to a specialist and see where in the, your business flow this could fit. Mm -hmm. And then we have different solutions depending on where you are in your journey, right? So we are experts at what we do and we're here to help you grow and scale your business with DTF or DTG or whatever it might fit. All right, so whether it's DTF, DTG, DTO, whatever you need, Omniprint's got you. That's right. <laughs> and if you guys have any questions, make sure you always inquire in the links here uh, or in the forms that are on the pages so that you can see and talk to a specialist based on your situation, what's the right setup for you. All right, so there you have it. That's what comes with the package. Let us know if you have any questions about what's included.